Hey there everyone, let's take a quick walk through the process of finding action and filter hooks within a WordPress plugin. If you're not really familiar with action and filter hooks, I've got an article about that that I'll link to in the description. And in this case, we'll go ahead and use my favorite Atom editor, which is totally free and cross-platform. Just go ahead and download and install that. And we'll go ahead and look through the MarketPress e-commerce code. This is a plugin that I'm very familiar with. So we'll go ahead and just download that here. And I'll go ahead and open up a folder that was installed too. There we go. Uh, this is the plugins zip file. We'll go ahead and right click and extract that. That should work the same on Windows and Linux. And we'll go ahead and open up the plugin folder. And what we're going to do is open up any one of these files. I'll just go ahead and open up the readme file because that's the easiest. We'll just right click and open that up in Atom. <clears throat> While this is loading up, it'll take a moment. Um, I just want to mention that we'll be using the find feature built into Atom that lets us search a whole project, in this case, an entire plugin's code <clears throat> recursively. It'll search through all the folders. And here we go. It's loaded up. And in this case, we just start right away with the search. We'll just go ahead and press Control, Shift, and F. And that will open up this bottom search bar here. And we can then type in what we want to search for. In this case, we'll be searching for do action. What we want to do is find all of the occurrences of do action within this plugin's code. And you'll notice that this will actually link to files throughout the entire plugin. That means all of the folders that belong to this particular plugin, it's actually finding them. You'll see them listed by these um, the files that they actually belong to and the folder path that they they're in. And this is basically a list of all of the files that um, Adam has found. Along with the occurrences of do action and you can click on any one of them, it will open it up. It'll take a moment because it has to. It basically has to render the uh, colors here for syntax highlighting. You can turn that off if you want to speed that up. But basically, this is you can see here, this is an action uh, MP load shipping plugins. Basically, you can actually tie into the process that MarketPress uses for loading shipping plugins, and you can actually have something occur prior to it or after it. Let's go ahead and close that up and we'll go back to the, the search list. And uh, that's how you find action hooks. Let's go ahead and find some filter hooks as well. We use apply filters. Here we go. And oh, this is great. This very first one here, default settings, MP default settings. I'll go ahead and click on that. This is a very useful um, filter right here. This filter lets you change the default settings. And what that's useful for is if you're operating MarketPress within a multi-site setup, you can have the settings be different on your network as opposed to how MarketPress normally loads the settings. You can have the defaults be totally different than that and be more custom for your users in that case. Let's go ahead and close that up. Um, there's also down here, let's see, where did that go? MP, market, uh, MP product price, here we go. The article I'm going to link to in the uh, description, it references this filter and you'll find an example of how to utilize that filter. So basically, once you find a filter or an action that you'd like to utilize to tie into a particular plugin, uh, you can create the code for that filter. And in this particular case, I've got an example back at my blog for this one. But basically, that's it. You just um, do a search using Atom and uh, you can search through all of the uh, plugins code and quickly find references to apply filters or do action. And just to mention another thing too, if you've got all of the minimap plugins, this is over here, this is a minimap. If you've got all of the minimap plugins loaded up, you'll have a bunch of extra features like this one where you can uh, double click on a particular name like apply filters and you'll see them highlighted over here in the minimap. And that's very helpful because if you're in an area in a plugin where you'd like to find other recurrences of apply filters within that same PHP code, you can easily just double click and that will select that and it will highlight other recurrences of that in the same file. 
Anyway, I hope that's helpful. I uh, hope to see you in another video. Take care.